Hi, and in this blog, I want to talk about the importance of stillness. Now, stillness is something we try to cultivate in meditation, but why is it important? Well, there are many reasons, but there's two I want to focus on in today's blog. The first of which uh, will be self-evident, which is that stillness brings out the tranquility in our mind. So when we've had a hectic life and our mind is constantly chattering to ourselves, causing stress, then tranquility can be incredibly healing, incredibly resourceful and refreshing. And so that tranquility is best brought about through a still mind. And then shining through that tranquility is this sense of uh, happiness that uh, pervades a very still mind as well. So happiness comes out of that sense of resting in our own state of tranquility and again is very refreshing and healing to the body. Now the second reason is perhaps less obvious, a little bit more obscure, but probably more important and that is that through stillness there's a much greater chance of getting clarity and insight into the very nature of the mind. And for two reasons. First of all, because a still mind is a more clear mind, like a more clear awareness, so we can see what's going on easier. It's like looking through water. One water that's all rough and tumbly is harder to see through than something that is clear. But the second is that what happens when the mind goes to stillness is at some point, of course, uh, thoughts will come in or perceptions will come in and we will start to perceive or thoughts or perceptions again. And in that very first few tenths of a second, one could say, a construction will appear and the thoughts don't just come immediately bang as one very complicated thought. What happens is if you're very still and very aware, you can see the constructed nature of it. So you might hear a sound of some knocking in the distance and you can see the mind starting to ponder, is that a knocking at the door, stepping along the floorboards? Uh, is it a knocking from outside? And when you recognize the type of knocking, then you'll start making judgments. Oh, I wonder who the person at the door is. Maybe it's someone I dislike, maybe it's someone I like. And in those first few seconds, you can see the way the mind constructs our reality. And this is really a foundation for insight. Uh, because we recognize the way in which reality appears to the mind. And not only that, we can also see the uh, feelings of attachment or aversion that are also created around the judgments of that structure that we build in our mind uh, when we hear a sense perception or anything, just a memory could come up, for example, and you can see yourself construct the memory and then construct the feelings around that memory as well. And if you want to deconstruct the stresses and the anxieties in your life, then ultimately this is the most powerful way to do that because you can see how they're constructed and you can take steps to not allow that construction to begin in the first place. So those are a couple of reasons why being able to move into stillness is an enormous help for anyone that is searching to, you know, overcome suffering in their life.